Welcome back, everyone. I just heard a fantastic comment that Tammy shared with you from Twitter about Chuck Todd. I'm not, it's, it's a bit much for TV. I'm not going to, I'm not <laughs> going to go into it. But look, Chuck Todd, meet the press this morning. It was just so revealing, okay? He's lamenting the state of our public discourse and how people live in these different realities. And just look how he talks about it. Watch this. There is a disinformation. We, we have two sets of realities that live here. There is a 40% of the country that is only getting fed one, mm-hmm. one reality. Arguably, 60% are getting what I would argue is reality. <laughs> you see what I mean? Right. OK, so if you agree with him, that's reality. It's fine. If you don't agree with him, it's like some Thank conspiracy goodness, every, every Sunday morning we have Chuck Todd to define our reality for us. What would we do otherwise? It's so it's sort of he doesn't even realize how patronizing and ridiculous. That and he is. had John Brennan on the show, the man who so tragically miscast reality on the Russia probe. When the Mueller report came out, he had to acknowledge that he had misstated the facts. I also think the media, the reason why the media hates President Trump so much is they're so used to Republicans for the longest time just accepting the premise of the narrative, right? So the left puts the narrative out, whether it's the war on women, then the media, media echoes it. And you have people like Mitt Romney say, oh, well, I have binders full of women. Trump would be like, that's a dumb question. Next. Further, when he was being accused of the sexual misconduct allegations, he brought Bill Clinton's accusers out right. on a press conference before the debate. <laughs> They're not used to that. They're not right. used to Republicans fighting back and being on the offense. I know. Uh, you know, this is for when it, when it comes to the idea of creating reality, that is what uh, legacy media has done forever, only since the Internet. Right. And frankly, Fox News has presented this this uh, b- broader base of information. And so that's the irony. You had uh, you had the three networks really reporting what it is, what they wanted to have people believe. And that's all you were able to do. You couldn't go check somewhere or you wrote a letter to the editor. There was no place to double check on what yes. someone was saying. Now we have that. And that is what has burst this bubble. So people who thought that they were going to you know, become Walter Cronkite, those days are over. The American people are in charge. There's enough information now when we're making up our own minds. But, the, you know, the, the fiction was that that previous era was like it was all neutral and mm. objective. It wasn't. Though. It wasn't. No. And this is what Correct. drives me crazy. These people like Chuck Todd is one of the best examples. You know, he he in my view, just watching the way he talks, the way he asks questions, he is as much of a partisan as I don't know, Sean Hannity, is, except that Sean is honest about it. They don't control the narrative anymore because President Trump uses Twitter, he, tw- Twitter, Twitter, he gets his message out. And so they're so used to being able to control the narrative and now they can't. And that's why they hate President Trump. Well, there you Just go. Just happy to live in Trump's reality, baby. Well, there you are. Look, we're out of time. There's oh. so much to say, but what a great conversation. Thank you all. Thank you Thank for you. watching. Mark Levin is up next. See you next Sunday when the next revolution will be.